Hey guys, and welcome back to Root and Loot. In this episode, we are doing Scarlet Monastery. So first off, I'm going to show you the root, and then uh, obviously I'm going to show you my loot. This is the 10th run. It should have said 9 out of 9 on the uh, dungeon reset button but first uh, I, I got a phone call that lasted for like an hour and a half so I got logged out uh, these runs norm normally takes I'm gonna say 40 minutes for 10 runs I don't have a speed set I use bear a uh, bear tatar uh, this one to get some more move movement speed when I'm killing stuff. So already this is probably the worst run of them all. Literally no items. So hopefully I can get some of these mobs. I'm currently working on a montage that will come out on this Saturday. The past weeks have been hectic, starting new new job, having to completely do over my sleep schedule. So yeah. This is a pretty easy dungeon to run. You can do six minutes each run with every character, every single class. Of course, I'm gonna say it now, as I said earlier, druids are the best for transmog farming. Either it's for or outside, you can get like e really good speed sets. You can get the good speed set for other classes as well if you check out Student Albatros. He've done, or he's doing, a zero to one million gold challenge on every single class. I'm just waiting for when it's gonna do it on every single roll or not roll but spec. That's gonna be a lot of millions. We're almost at the end. Remember to kill these two mobs. I'm not killing this boss because it takes so long before you kill uh, Inquisitor White Man that comes out of the door. She's gonna put you to sleep, and it takes another yeah ten seconds. Actually, this round is the worst round. I got two items. Uh, can't remember the last time I had such a bad round. So yeah, I'm probably ju just gonna sell this to a vendor. It gave me around like 500 raw gold. Let's go over the items. It's not put in any order, so this, the butcher, it's a huge knife. Uh, and a 0 0.01 but 15k so the night sky cow that's 7.5k on my server that is and it's 0 0.02 and there is I didn't get any of the scarlet items but I got a lot of or some other green items you can see 0 0.01 0 0.01 same and there are some of these just because they sell and I don't have any on the auction house. Like this one, male combat boots. There is none on the auction house and it's 7k. So yeah, and yes, I do have a ring because they sell. So this was probably my worst root loot. Uh, but I ended up on like 
like I think it was 80k. So yeah, not a bad start. Even though there ain't many people watching my videos, I'm thankful for those who are. And I'm not doing this to become a huge YouTuber. I don't know if I've, if I've said this before, I probably have. But I'm doing this to share my knowledge, share with you that it's possible to sell Transmog. Because I know there is a lot of people struggling with selling Transmog. So yeah, this was a, <laughs> a lot shorter video than I thought. So racking up the six minutes, so yeah. There's nothing more to add. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys are having a beautiful day and a happy weekend when it, when that's a, when that arrives. Whenever you see this, or maybe it's the summer. Happy summer, or Christmas. Anyways, thanks for watching. Love you all. Bye.